The idea of wine cork hugger sculptures came from just wanting to do something with these clever little corks that come in the wine bottles. The one that the fox is holding is the naked grape, and I just pictured that with, with a Bacchus, and uh, who better than a fox to play Bacchus. Fortunately, a uh, background in art history gives me lots of mythology and iconography to pull from from these. All of these are in private collections right now, but it's always a, a theme I'm going to come back to in my creations. I thought you might enjoy seeing how the fox part of this sculpture came together. So I'm going to walk you through the highlights of the process of sculpting the fox. A complex sculpture like this begins with what I call the mummy phase. In this one, I start with the wire shape and wrap it with aluminum foil to create the basic armature for the fox. The masking tape helps the clay adhere better, and sometimes I use floral tape. Here I'm doing a test fit to make sure the curves of the fox's body, the legs, the arms are going where I want them to be in the final design. Now it's time to enjoy a glass of wine while I work on the underbody sculpt. For this part, I'm using Super Sculpey, which is an excellent soft clay for building up the shape. I'm just going to do a framework now. I'll add features and layers on top of this after the first cure. Now that I have a nice layer of clay built up on this guy, I'm going to build up the features a little bit more and add in some color at this point. Some people like to paint their sculptures, but I like to use the polymer clay itself to give the color. And this is what I'm going to be using for this critter. I love Primo as my primary color because it has a nice palette and I can also mix my own. The one exception to this Primo um, use in the palette is um, Fimo Translucent Orange. When I can find it, I like this to make a very scrumptious orange blend. If I can't, I mix my own using translucent clay and some orange um, alcohol ink. I'm going to take a break here because there's definitely a lot of conditioning with this clay and I need to get it soft enough to work with, but then we'll come back and I'll show you how I add in the color. The eyes of the sculpture are where it really starts to come to life. Before I continue building up the features on the face, I'm going to get these eyes into the sockets. I made them from polymer clay and cured them already so they'd hold their shape. And I'm just going to place them in the sockets that are coated with a little bit of mica powder that made it slightly darker than the background. And then I'll build up some more features. When I shared the mummy phase with you, it was probably hard to imagine that this would be a fox. Hopefully now you see where I'm going with him. I'm taking lots of bits of clay to keep building up the layers and shape in his features. Uh, here's some of the tools I used to do that. You can see on this side, I don't have quite as much shaping done. It's still a little bit smoother. And on this side, I've added in some more details. You might wonder why I don't just paint him at this point, but I love the waxy finish this is going to give me. Now you can see the finished fox. He's gotten a friend along the way. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how he came together and following along on this journey. I really love the little crow. I think he adds so much fun to him. And that's the making of a fox sculpture. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel, but also pop over to marieyoungcreative.com. I have an email list where you can be the first to know about new pieces.